Hi, welcome to Sweet Bay Lane. I'm Tracy and I love quick woodcraft DIY projects. And if you do too, you've clicked on the right video. So let's go ahead and get started on this adorable woodcraft. Okay, for this project, we're just gonna need a few simple things. We're going to need a square of wood. This measures three and a half by three and a half by three quarters of an inch thick. And then we're going to need some natural wood clothes pins, and then just the paint color of your choice. I'm going to be using this espresso bean in Anita's. Now this is a super, super simple uh, little DIY, but it's so beautiful once it's finished. So we're going to push these aside, our little clothes pins, and we'll come back to those later. And we're going to paint our little square of wood. Okay, now that we have our little square of wood painted, we're going to bring back in our clothes pins. And how we want to do this is we're going to stack them on top of each other. But to get a complete finished edges, you'll start by offsetting your first row of clothes pins. You'll put the clothes pin in touching this side, even with this side, as you'll see. And then this side, you're going to leave a little gap there. And to do this, I'm going to be using a glue gun. And you'll just start by gluing, adding a little touch of glue, and just putting it down, right down at the edge of your piece of wood. Making sure it's nice and secure and even. And then you'll just continue on. Let me do the first layer and then I'll show you the second layer. And now, as you'll see, they're end to end. So you want to put the pinchy side, this side, to the back of the other clothes pin. So you're going to be going in a circle, or a square actually, <laughs> like that. So now we're going to move on to our second layer of clothes pins, and so on. So then, as you'll see, you'll alternate each row as you do it. There's a little bit of extra glue on there. But anyways, you'll do alternate each row, like pinchy end, pinchy end. So you'll just alternate as you go up around the thing. And as you'll see, it looks so cute for such simple little supplies. And now what I'm going to be using mine for is a little votive candle holder. And I'm going to put it inside. And when I light it, it is so, so beautiful. The light just comes out. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll put in a, an insert. Um, I'll insert a little video at the end here of it lit up at night. It's so beautiful. But if you didn't want to use the votive candle, you could also make it a little taller and put a little milk carafe or a little carafe vase or vase from the Dollar Tree right inside. And it's so cute. Let me take the flowers out so you guys can see it. 
look at that. How adorable is that? Can you imagine like a three or four of them lined up? You know, you could also keep uh, like your buttons. If you have like a little glass jar that fit down in there, you could put it in your laundry room to kind of keep your excess buttons and change and whatever else. I, I always find seashells and sea glass and pockets of our shorts, so, and shark's teeth. <laughs> so that'd be a good place to keep them.